going to be a little bit different from the favorites videos that I've done in the past. Usually I do a monthly favorites video, like here's what I was loving in June, and then I talk about all the stuff that I was liking in June. But today, I'm just going to be talking about the things that have been making me happy lately. So it's not specified in beauty or lifestyle or anything, it's just things in general that I've gotten lately or that I've been doing lately that I've really enjoyed doing and that have made me happy and that hopefully by sharing some of these things with you guys you can gain some happiness by maybe following suit. So starting off, the biggest thing and the thing that applies most to you guys is I got a MacBook Pro. This means that I'm going to be starting to edit with Final Cut Pro instead of iMovie, which I have been using. And also, up until now, in case you guys are wondering, I talked about it actually like a year ago, I think? I've been doing YouTube for a while, and one of my um, initial problems was that I didn't have a computer to edit on. The computer that I had at the time was an Asus computer that didn't really have any video editing capabilities whatsoever, and I didn't know what I was doing. And eventually I sort of figured out that Apple was the way to go when you needed editing software. And my dad needed a new work computer and I kind of convinced him to get a MacBook that we could share. And I've been editing off of his system for basically the entire time I've been doing YouTube since I figured out how to edit. And iMovie's fine. Um, it's good for beginners, but I'm really interested in doing more, um, more effects and more specialized edits, if that makes sense. Like... Just, there's certain things that you can do in Final Cut Pro that you cannot do in iMovie. So I wanted to do that, so I bought this with my own money along with the software for Final Cut Pro. I don't want you guys to think that my parents just pay for everything. Um, I did contribute to the laptop that my dad got in the first place too, so it's definitely part of what I'm doing. And I'm only doing this because I really care about YouTube and I want to make it um, kind of a bigger thing in my life, even more so. My dad might be going on business trips and stuff like that, and if he doesn't have his computer here where I can use it, that would be a problem. And so, I have this now, and I'm really, really excited to be doing... That's why um, videos are going to be becoming more frequent, too. I talked about that a little bit in my last couple of videos, that my uploading schedule is going to change, and there's going to be more videos because I'm going to have more accessibility to an editing um, program. So this is really exciting, and I'm just, like, really, really psyched. So I actually bought this at Target just yesterday. It is the Jergens Natural Glow gradually, oh wait, daily moisturizer, that was the description. It gradually creates flawless natural looking color. So this is a lotion that like over time it makes you more tan. And can I just say that I've used it yesterday and I used it today and I can already tell a difference. I can already notice that my legs are tanner, which is saying something because I mean, let's, let's just appreciate how like snow white pale I am. The hope is, is that this continues to work and I don't look like a snowman all summer. That would be great. Next up are these sunglasses that I just got from American Eagle. I didn't have a pair of sunglasses that I liked up until like last week. I had one pair from Urban Outfitters that was bright blue, which is fine for like fun being, like having fun sunglasses. These are still fun, but they're much more wearable on a daily basis. So the, um, they're aviators and the rim here is a light gold and it has pink here and the pink kind of makes it look like it's rose gold. It's not rose gold. The, the hardware isn't rose gold, but it's just a really, really pretty combo. And here, there we go. How cool do I look, right? Right. I never actually looked at American Eagle for sunglasses before, I don't think, so I was really happy to find these. The next thing, I'm going to insert a picture like right here or a video or something. Um, I got new bedding, and back like on my very first video, my very first like three videos on YouTube, I was saying, I'm going to redo my room, and I'm going to do a room tour, and la 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 la, and I never got around to it. Um, this summer is when it's happening, I promise, it didn't happen last summer, but it's going to happen this summer. I got bedding, and like that I like, because before, I didn't like it basically, and that's why I film like this so you guys don't see, because I'm sitting on my bed right now, and you guys don't see um, what's on my bed, and I'll probably, I'm going to switch my filming setup, because right now this is my headboard, and I'll probably switch so that I'm sitting at the foot of my bed, looking back, if that makes sense, so you guys will see my, my bedding, um, anyway, but, so, this bedding is from Target, I got it a couple days ago, and I will write the name of it down below, it's from the Shabby Chic Collection, and I, I love it, I think it's so pretty. I'm going to paint my walls, right now they're a light shade of blue, they're going to be a light pink, and I actually have a paint chip here, if I can find it. So this color at the top is the Olympic Paints from Lowe's Santalina Blooms, and I don't think I'm going to go with this exact color, but something very, very similar, it's going to be just a really, really light pink. Um all over my walls basically and I'm going to move this is a painting right up here I'm gonna move that I don't want it anymore um basically I'm just gonna redo everything and I will do a tour when I'm done hopefully by the end of the summer 
um, we'll see, but I'm guessing that I'll be done by August. So yeah, I'm just really excited that it's kind of moving along now that I have bedding. Like I feel like I have a place to jump off more solidly. So that's really exciting. And I will just keep you guys, um, updated, I guess. Maybe I'll vlog if I'm painting because I'm going to be the one painting my room. My parents won't paint my room. They're like, you're going to do it if I'm going to do it. I'm like, okay. So next up, this is actually just like a rough sketch of what it's going to look like, but I'm designing business cards for this channel because people ask me all the time, like, oh, you're a YouTuber. What's your username? And I don't even know how these people know. Like people come up to me and they're like, like, I don't understand how you know. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, I kind of need business cards because I'm otherwise I'm just writing out my username over and over and over again on scratch paper. I'm also working with a guy who does custom stamps, like stamps that you take and rub in ink and like stamp yourself. And I'm going to get a stamp of my username. So actually you guys can't really see this because it's a white piece of paper and I have white lights. But um, basically I'm going to get a stamp of my username to stamp each individual card. So it looks kind of rustic and I'm just really excited for it because I'm going to choose... I think a burlap kind of um, brown for the base and then I'm also gonna have turquoise and black and white accents so I'm really excited for how those look and I will show you guys when there is a finished product I'll Instagram it or maybe I'll do a video featuring it these two things are kind of combined and I've thought about doing a whole separate video just on this so let me know if you would like to see it it's kind of interesting so um, this is a notebook obviously that I have my 101 in a thousand and one list and that probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So basically, there's this blogger named Mackenzie Horan, and I will link her her blog down below. She runs a blog called Design Darling, and she has done this thing, I think, two years in a row. It's 1,001 days, and you figure out 101 goals that you want to accomplish in those 1,001 days. So basically, um, I started, I wrote it down. I started on April 5th. And it's going to end on December 31st, 2016. So I have quite a while. And so basically I just made a list of everything I want to accomplish. I already crossed off a lot, which is making me really happy. It makes me feel really accomplished. And it's not all like goals. It's not all, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not necessarily goals that have to be accomplished. Like it's just things that I want to do. So like one of my goals is go to see a Cirque du Soleil show. So that's not something that's like going to, better my work life or my school life or anything but it's just going to be good for me because I want to do it. But I also have some stuff for YouTube goals and school goals and things like that so again if you're interested let me know and I will gladly take you through this but the thing that's kind of related to this is that one of my goals was to keep a gratitude jar for all a thousand and one days and what that is you probably seen it on Pinterest um basically you keep a jar or a container or a box of some sort in which throughout the entire calendar year is what people usually do. They write down one good thing from every day or as good things happen, they write it down and they keep it in the box and they open it up at the end of the year to see all the good things that happened. So what I'm trying to do is I have this jar here and I have these little pieces of paper with good things. And since April 5th, I've been writing down just little things that have been happy or good or really fun and just keeping it in here. Even if it's really little, like even if it's just made me smile for like a half a second, I write it down and at the end of all this I'll probably have a lot of really happy things to smile about because I don't remember half the things that are in here right now. I think keeping a gratitude jar no matter what the time line is is just a really good idea because when you're feeling down you can just go ahead and look at all the happy things that are that like have happened to you and be thankful for those instead of dwelling on what might not be so good right now. So I'm going to try and not open this until my list is over but I'm not sure that everything's going to fit in here seeing as it's only been a couple months I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. I might have to get a bigger jar. But um, yeah, I just think that being thankful and being mindful of being thankful is really a good thing for your like mental health. I said that was the last thing, but I was actually kind of lying. I thought of something else. I made popsicles for the first time this past weekend. And actually, when this video goes up, it won't be this past weekend. It'll be like a week ago. But anyway, I made popsicles and they are so good. I will link the recipe that I use as kind of my base down below if you guys want to see it. But also, I'm going to get a new popsicle maker because the one that I'm using right now, the popsicle molds, are from Target, and they were pretty cheap, and they don't work at all. Basically, the popsicles just, like, stay in the mold, and the stick comes out like it doesn't stick to the stick at all. So I'm going to get new molds, but the popsicles themselves were so delicious once I got them out. Like, you know, I had to, like, hit them a bunch of times, and I actually hit them with a hammer to get them into a bowl, but seriously so delicious. Like, ridiculous. So I will write the, or I'll link the recipe that I used, um, as like my base and I'll write what I changed um, in the description box if you guys are interested and if you have any recommendations for popsicle makers please let me know because I'm leaning towards the Zoku or the Zoku I don't know how to pronounce it I think it's Zoku um, ones but 
yeah. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. So I know that this video was kind of random and kind of just like random, but if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I was just in a really happy mood and I was really thankful for all these things, so I kind of just wanted to share with you guys. So if there's anything that's making you really happy lately, let me know in the comment below. It's just like all talk about what makes us happy. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my ramblings. I hope that it was enjoyable to just like hear what's making me happy. I mean, it's a favorites video. It's just a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.